well, it's here in the studio, this machine, this beast, this uh, racing bicycle. Look at it. It belongs to uh, Jean Spies, who's sitting here with me. Jean, let's just talk, okay, the frame, like the frame part. How yeah. much does that frame thing cost? So that frame in rands, you're looking at about 40,000 rand. The frame, the frame. is 40,000. So the four, the, basically the two triangles and, then and the fork. The front wheel? Front wheel, you're looking at another 25,000 rand. And then at the back? You're looking at another 35 to 40,000 rand. So, <laughs> okay, so we were at about like 100,000, maybe a little bit more. Yes. On this bicycle? On this bicycle. And you know, for that, you don't even get brakes. I have no, <laughs> I don't even have gears. They so don't even no put on the, no brakes, nothing. Okay, Jean Spies, <laughs> South African professional racing cyclist. Your machine is an absolute spectacle to look at, and thank you for bringing it with us. Thank you. you must get worried when it gets on the plane and has to travel, eh? It's probably the most stressful part of my, tra of my travels is not so much it getting lost, but more it coming out on the other side unscathed. So what is track racing, track cycling? What is that? To put it into a perspective or, or a picture that I think majority of South Africans have seen is take NASCAR racing and these cars are racing around in circles. Mm -hmm. and that is exactly what track cycling is. It's guys on bicycles that race in circles. We do a lot of left turns, and it's a form of, if you want to take it back to anything else, athletics. So we have little different events, different disciplines. Um, for example, your turner meters or your Kieran or your points races, and it's just a bunch I, of guys. I used to, to love watching that at the Olympics. but. I couldn't understand because everyone rides so slow. Like it looked like the race of who could ride the slowest. <laughs> and they're like slow, 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 lap after lap, slap. And then suddenly there's like this explosion of pace and everyone's right going at a million kilometers an hour. Yeah. Um, so the idea behind that is, is actually it's a tactical, tactical affair. Um, you don't want to kind of play your cars too, too soon playing a poker game. And it's exactly the same with the, with the racing. So a lot of the riders will know exactly how much power they need to get to the line in let's say 10 seconds, uh, so they'll work out from where they can go and then it's one big, big race from there. I mean, you've done us proud, right? I see the medals recently, just two weeks ago, in KZN, African Championships. How did you do? Um, I had a pearl of, of, of an African Champs. Um, I managed to defend my three African titles, which is the Kilo, the Kieran, and the Sprint events. Um, for me, that was a bit of a a milestone because it is the hat trick of the three that I've done as so well. So three gold? I've gone three gold for three in the last three years. Unstoppable, man. Um, we, there's, I'm only human, so I've got to kind of work hard every single day as per, per normal, so we'll <laughs> keep going at it. You know what amazed me, though, is when we were having a little bit of a discussion about how is it that you compete around the world, you know? How do you get there? Like... I was like, oh, you must belong to a team, right? Like there's like a team of guys, because you're a professional. This is how you earn your money. Yeah. This, this is how you live. Um, I don't earn any money. I literally live from hand to mouth. You live um, for the sport. I live for the sport. We work off donations. Anybody else out there that can help us, we would greatly appreciate it. Okay, but like, it, but no, man, let me just... It's a case of... Let me understand. Are you, for real. For real. For real. I literally work off donations every single day of my life chasing this dream. The dream is to, to qualify for the Olympics. At this point, it looks good. I'm ranked 15th in the world. So the ranking is there and the qualification is there. I just need to maintain it for the next year. But yeah. And then how do you maintain? You've got to compete, right? I have to compete. And um, then where are the competitions? All over the world? Literally all over the world. Last year, we did 20 countries of in, with different events in 20 different countries. You're flying the bicycle around plus yourself. Yeah. So Hotels, accommodation, food, drink energy drinks, the whole works. Yes. 20 countries in one year, and you're paying for that yourself, and you're representing South Africa. That's exactly it, yeah. You're <laughs> our guy. Yes. Paying for himself yes. to compete for us. That is a sad situation. No, but I mean, yes. You're not making that up, right? No, I'm not making it up at all. Um, it okay, I understand just... maybe like during the year, like for competitions, but like surely when it comes time for you're now going to the African Championships. Like 2016, it was in Morocco. Yeah. Now, surely, we're, pocket, we're paying for you, we're putting the money, we're saying, off you go, you're, you're going to represent South Africa. Not at all. Don't lie. I promise, not at all. Why? Can, what, what's going on? There is no funding. There is no, there's no backing 
from our federation for the sport. Um, and it's not just track cycling, it's any cycling. The, it, it is a sad situation and it is like it is. And guys like myself, women like Charlene, we, we're tracing this dream, making it work for ourselves. We know that the federation is not going to help us. So we ca it was a case of chasing these and, and, and making it work for us. You're in the top 20 in the world and there's no support in South Africa to help you to be as good as you can possibly be. That's exactly that's the, it, yes. I'm sad. <laughs> I, I'm truly uh, I'm astonished, actually, because, I mean, we're such a sport-loving country. We are a sport-loving country, and, and I think if you look at all our sport, our guys do extremely well in, in every single discipline. I think it just comes down to a lack of knowledge about the sport. You know, take my bike, for example. How many viewers have actually seen a track bike in, in the flesh? Well, about a million. Yeah. Like as of 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but that's exactly it. Before that, nobody's actually known about it. Yeah. Um, personal opinion, I think the sport in South Africa is still stuck in the past. And it, it hasn't moved forward with professionalism as every other sport has done. And that is why that, the section of, of funding is lacking in the, Jean, in the sport. you put out an appeal to say if anyone is hearing you, can put in, can support you, how would they get hold of you? Like you put that appeal out, so let's try and officialize it. How can they get hold of you? So probably the easiest is social media. Um, you can grab us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. So Twitter, it's Jean Spies. Um, Instagram is Jean Spies, And then Facebook, I have an athlete page, which is Jean Spies Track Cyclist. Um, those are probably the most straightforward to, to get involved, yeah. Jean Spies. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I just Thank want to you. show South Africans one thing. This bicycle, look at this. I don't go to gym, yeah? <laughs> but look at that. Just like one hand. It's the lightest thing on earth. Um, huh? 7.3 kilos, to be exact. So for 120,000 rand, I get seven kilos. <laughs> 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 That's like more expensive than certain drugs out there.